I would use my uh, camera for this like I have been for my last few videos, but honestly, I just want to go to bed as early as possible, so I'm just going to get this over with now. <sighs> to say that I expected us to win would be a lie. To say that I expected us to fight this hard would be a lie. So, there's that. I did say, well, I didn't say it on this channel, but I said to myself, if we lost this game, I would be very mad at Mullen because of the fact that he did all this preparing for Alabama and just kind of ignored LSU, basically. They, if we ignored LSU and we, you know, that's how we play against Bama, but honestly, not saying I'm pleased with everything Mullen did today, but man, we gave our, we gave an effort. We gave an effort, and I, I hate moral victory so much, but Alabama's just too good, and the fact that we fought this hard, and we played this close. I mean, think about our last couple of games against Bama. 2009, we got completely ran over by Mark Ingram, and that won him the Heisman, and you know, that kind of ended the short dynasty we had. 2015, steamrolled. 2016, steamrolled. 2020, you know, we just kept on fighting. I mean, we were down by 18 at the half, and we just made an effort to come back. And really, there were many opportunities to win this game. So many opportunities to win this game. And... You know, we could have, we should have made some stops. You know, the third down stop, the, the stops we did have was either, you know, a crazy fumble and, God, it's Trey Dean should have had that pick. Or, you know, dumb penalties. It just sucks. You know, it just sucks that this offense might be the best offense I've seen in this Florida team. This Florida program. One of the best offenses I've ever seen. And to have it raced it like that is just so painful. And, you know, of course, let's not act like the defense, you know, were the only ones to, you know, make mistakes. Because they did actually have a pretty good third quarter. The offense just had some missed opportunities. Like on, after our first stop, you know, in the third quarter, we didn't score on that drive. And... Bad play calling, Trask had one bad pass. It it was just frustrating. And some of Mullen's play calls were head scratching today. But he didn't call a terrible game. It was a lot better than last week, so I'll give him that. But like I said, I'm not going to just talk about more victories. I'm not going to be all, you know, at least we only lost by six. You know, clock management at the end of that game was bad. And just the defense, man. I cannot wait for this for Todd Grantham to go, okay? I, I show no love to Todd Grantham. I'll show some love to, t to Dan Mullen because he actually tried at the end. He actually tried. And give us the game. He actually made some decent play calls. He actually improved as a play caller. Todd didn't. We just... <sighs> I'm just sick of this defense, okay? I hated that Marco Wilson was covering Defonte Smith. I hated that... I hated everything about this game, really. About the defense, really. And... This is just one of those things where if we fire Todd Grantham, we're going to go in a better direction. Because obviously in this game, we proved we belong in the SEC Championship. We proved that we can be just as good as Bama. But we're not there yet. We're not there. They're just too talented. Nick Saban's been there for years. Dan Mullen is just getting started. And um, I'm not too pleased with Mullen, but... I'm less angry than I thought I would be about losing to Bama. This game, man, it's just, it, it just sucks. You know, I keep on repeating myself, but that's just how it is. And what also sucks is I don't think Trask is getting that Heisman. 
it's definitely going to Devontae Smith or Mac Jones or Najee. One of those three de deserves it. No, actually, Devontae and Najee deserve it. I'm not sure Mac Jones deserves it. Najee, I'll tell you what, that dude... That dude has improved so much ever since he's gone to Bama, so I, I can't disrespect Nachi. That dude is incredible, and he's improved so much, and I gotta give my respect to him, and although we put the wrong DB on uh, Defonte, I, I just gotta give respect to Defonte. That dude's the best receiver in college football. I still think Drask is better than Mac Jones, but if Mac Jones wins the Heisman, I'm not gonna be mad at the you know, Heisman people. I'm um, going be mad at certain people on this coaching staff for the way they handled this. Um, Drask, that might have been one of his last two games. You know, I, I highly doubt he's going to, this will be his last game. I think he'll play in the bowl game. He's not going to go out like that. I, I got to give a lot of respect to you, man. Everything you did for us. You just gave us probably the best season the quarterbacks ever had that I've ever seen in this program. And I got to give you respect, man. You truly do it. Help us out. Go in the right directions. All right. So how can we improve from this game? How can we be better next year if we do still have a great offense? How can we be better? Well, for one thing, we need to fire Todd Grantham. I, I know I've said it multiple times, but... It's true. We need to fire Todd Grantham. If we fire Todd Grantham, some of the um, other assistant coaches that have been terrible on the staff will be gone. It'll be a start. All right. I know Mullen doesn't fire assistant coaches, but he's got to understand. This isn't Mississippi State anymore. This is Florida. You cannot let these coaches stay on. He's got to know that, you know, he's had them for three seasons. He's given them plenty of time to maybe develop these players and have a great defense, all right? Dale Mullen had plenty of time to, had three seasons to develop this offense, and he made it amazing. Todd Grantham regressed it. And, you know, that's just where it starts. We just got to get rid of Grantham, and I think we'll be a much better team. You know, I, well, depends on who we hire, really, but... We just got to we gotta make changes on our coaching staff. I don't care if they take us to SEC championship. You know, something McElwain never did was fire his assistant coaches, and it got him fired. All right, Mullen, you're a much better coach than McElwain. You're a really good coach. I know you can be a great coach for us. All right, but you got to start making some moves that help this program out because... This program is starting to head into the right direction. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, good game to Alabama. They played great. They're a great team. I wish them luck in the play play playoffs. And um, I know Trask is winning the Heisman, so whoever wins it on that Bama team, congrats. And uh, peace.